Hello Zwifters, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're going to be talking about Apple TV, Bluetooth connections and brick sessions on Zwift. <laughs> Using Apple TV is a great way to get running on Zwift. It's really easy. All you do is download the Zwift app onto your Apple TV, pair your devices and away you go. But Apple TV does have one or two limitations. For example, it can only accept three Bluetooth devices at any one time. And one of those devices is your Apple TV remote. So you're only left with two Bluetooth devices. Now in running, that's not such a problem. You pair your foot pod as a speed source and a cadence source, the same foot pod, so your stride or your Zwift pod as a speed source and a cadence source, and then your heart rate monitor. That's two devices. But what happens when you want to do a brick session? Say you're a triathlete or you just want to do some cross training on the bike, you'll need to pair your controllable trainer, a Wahoo kicker or something like that, or a Neo. Um, or you'll need to pair a power meter, but also you'll need to pair your heart rate monitor and you'll probably need to pair your cadence sensor as well. So that is too many devices. So what are your options? Well, you could do without the heart rate monitor or you could do without the cadence sensor, I guess, because you really do need to pair your controllable trainer or your power meter. But the other option is the Zwift companion app and this is where it comes to the rescue. If you try and pair more than two Bluetooth devices in Zwift you will get an option come up on the screen and that option asks you if you want to use the Zwift companion app to try and find other devices. Select yes. Simple as that. All you have to do is make sure that this button is on in the Zwift companion app and then you'll get that option when you try and pair more than two Bluetooth devices and then you can pair to your heart's content. And if you're experiencing this annoying issue, you need to close down your Zwift app. Go back to the menu, double click the home button, swipe up and then restart Zwift. That should close down any Bluetooth connections and allow you to restart Zwift and repair your devices without the flickering of the screen. And that's it. That's all you need to do to pair multiple Bluetooth devices in Zwift on Apple TV. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you again for another How to Run on Zwift very soon.